All right, it looks like we got a boiler down. Uh, if you watch some of my older videos, you might remember this setup here. This one used to be a ray pack and the smaller one was an older uh, lock and bar. But since then they've been changed out. Um, looks like the big one is running. Small one might be off. Let's go check it out. I think this one's running. Yeah, this one's on. Yep, yeah, this one's good. So it's probably this one. We got a lockout. Low current Sage A. So let's go ahead and take it apart. Take a look. right here the igniter is calling and I am not getting any amp draw. Nothing. Nothing. So it looks like we have a bad igniter here. That just cycled again went back to our lockout so that's an easy one we'll just 
get a new igniter, change it up, test it again. I thought I had some in my uh, van, but the two I gave away, I didn't get back from a coworker. That's what happens when you give other people shit and you don't get in return. So I had to go pick up one from another coworker down back. We're gonna take this chamber door off. There's a bunch of fasteners right here. So I'll go ahead and get all those off, pull it out, and we'll look at the HSI. So here's our stage A. Cut this off, take these wires out. I knew I was forgetting something, I'm sure about my knee rest. Fuck, oh, god damn it. It is what it is. Screwdriver. Also, I advise if you're gonna go and work in this area, you have the boiler off at least, you know, a good five to ten minutes. Because if it was running on, say, this stage, and you go and start going to work, it's gonna be pretty hot. And possibly burn yourself. Just throwing it out there. So that does not look too good. So let's go ahead and ohm it out, compare it to a new one. That way you guys can see the different ohm rate. Alright, got our meter set up. New HSI, old HSI. Let's take a look at the new one. Fifty-two. Take a look at the old one. Come on, you bugger. Ninety seven. See, there's a huge difference there. Okay. Let's go ahead and fit the new one. As you can see, there's a gasket right here. You need to make sure that is removed. These come with a new gasket. Do not touch this with your fingers, by the way. Don't bear touch it. There's your gasket. Put this guy on. Slap it in. Got a new guy. We'll stick them in there. Now, when you go to tighten these screws down. You do not need to torque it very hard. This thing is fragile, you'll crack it. And the uh, threads in there, you gotta be very gentle, otherwise you're gonna strip it out. So I do not recommend using a drill. Go by hand, use your screwdriver. Don't need to use power drills for everything. It's nice and snug. That's it. We're going to plug it back in. And then I'll uh, fold those wires up and re-zip tie it. Put our cover back on it. All right, 
we're going to go ahead and put our cover back on for our pressure chamber here. We're all zip tied, looking nice and pretty. For guys who never really worked on boilers, here's one thing when you're taking panels and stuff off. This right here is a seal. See how it goes all the way around? This is really damn important. If this breaks or it's gone or half of that's missing, you're gonna have air leaking out of here. This chamber can't hold the pressure. Your pressure transducer, pressure switch, sorry, not transducer, your pressure switch is gonna open. And that is gonna be an issue because that will delay your sequence and pit and lock out your boiler. So you need to, if you're taking it apart and you're doing maintenance, you need to check and make sure your gaskets are good. Otherwise you're gonna have air leaking out and that is no bueno. Tell me that's satisfied. Alright, there we go. We can hear we already got an amp draw. Matter A is on. Before we did not have an amp draw. We could flip through here and look at our uh, signal as well, right here. Flame signal A, that's our microamp signal. And boodoosh, what do we got? 13.5, 13, oh, 13.5. That is really good. You want that pretty, as high as you can get it. Anything below five is not too good. I believe anything under four or three for a certain period of time, it will lock the boiler up. So this one was pretty easy. I mean, it's just, it's like a capacitor on a split system unit, right? You know, one little thing knocks out boiler or knocks out a condenser, nothing too crazy, but you know, I'm showing you how to kind of troubleshoot it, what to look for, home out your, uh, HSI's, take your amp draw. Um, if your boiler doesn't have, or it's showing you your flame signal, you can find it on your ignition module. Usually they'll have the pins on there and you can test it. Or you'll just have to hook up your meter in series to it to get your microamp uh, measurement. But that will do it on this one. Like I said, nothing too crazy. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward. We're on stage one. We're already pretty much maintaining our set point because we're using two boilers here. But um, in the early mornings, it need, this building definitely needs the two boilers to operate efficiently. So now we got this smaller one back on. And yeah, we're good to go. All right, see you on the next one.